Good morning. So we look at Makas Sardeya, the frog. Well, we see different creations by God. And we know that everything was created for a purpose. Nothing was created for not, for nothing. So we might have snakes or other things which are damaging, scorpions, alligators, sharks. Everything has a purpose. Until there's a saying in the prophets that if the Nevi'im don't tell me what to, don't do what I tell them to do, I have other things like Nechashim, snakes and scorpions that can do my shlichus, my service, I don't need you. So basically everything has a purpose in the world. So what, what is the cause of damaging what, what is the excitement of damaging animals that wreak havoc in the world? So God says that is used to punish the wicked. The wicked need to be punished so they get punished by those things. If you see frog, not necessarily has a purpose in the world. It's not a uh, damaging animal. It's not going to damage you. Not going to hurt you. No, not going to injure you or kill you. And it really doesn't have a purpose. There are a lot of things which are good for the health too and different animals or even uh, flies or any other things health wise but frog has no reason for it mm -hmm. and God tells Paroi which Paroi is someone that denies God The, the river is mine and I made it. The God has no connection to the world. God has no connection to the world. God says, I'll take the Tzifadeh, I'll take the frog. Which the Chayda at first glance has no indication of any purpose. And what did he do? He sent his Tradeya after Dom, after the Maka of blood, to tell you that even if it has no purpose at all, we're going to show you a purpose. We're going to make sure you know that there is a God in the world. And we see by the Tzvadeh, the frogs, they went everywhere. They went on Mesir Snafish, they gave up their lives. And that was even greater than any other of the Makis. They went everywhere, in the ovens, and everything. So we see over here is, that don't look at anyone, which is not important. Don't look at anything that God created is not important. Because everything has a purpose in this world. And that's the idea of divine providence. That divine providence is on every single little thing. 
even a um, leaf that falls down and it tumbles over and it goes on top of a ant to protect it from the heat of the sun. So there's nothing in the world which doesn't have a purpose. And we can take the Tzvardeya, which has no purpose at all, and use it for the Maka, and it went on Mesiris Nefesh. So David Shusha helped that by seeing the purpose of everyone in the world, the purpose of our hands, the purpose of our feet, the purpose of this cement ground, the purpose of everything in the world. We'll come to a time of Mashiach and we'll see that everyone opens up their mouth. The walls will open up their mouths. And the trees will open up their mouths. They'll say everything that happened in the house. Or tell you, now I'll do this on Shabbos. There'll be reminders everywhere. You should know that God is in existence everywhere. And God is entombed in every single creation. We won't be like a um, parody that says, we come from nothing. We are the true existence, not God. We won't call, the, we won't call God as the God of uh, other gods. Or we won't even do like uh, Sanchev that uh, he, he cursed out God. And by Ezra Hashem, we will believe that God is in our existence and will go towards Mashiach. Long live our master, teacher, and ever king Mashiach forever and ever. Long live our master, teacher, and ever king Mashiach forever and ever.